here with JJ McDonough. Uh, you're planning on getting out uh, in two weeks time in your call. Uh, how are you feeling about that? Um, I was feeling good up till last week and I got a bit of a flu. A good bit of flu, a bad flu. Um, bad chest infection and I'm still not over it. But um, hopefully it'll be a bit stronger and better. But the next week just medication I'm on and hot bottles. And just antibiotics, 500 mil tablets. And I'm a bit well at the minute. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, I've seen um, Jake Paul's interview. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that he's going to pay the head of me if he fights me again, that he doesn't need to fight me. Well, listen, Jake, I don't need to fight you either. I already bet you. I'm in the balls of you. Right? So, the only way I will fight you, if you ever come back to me again, if you want to fight, you say, be tight to fight. And I'd be delighted to be at you again and knock you out the same way I'll always be able to knock you out. Um, you're saying about your last two opponents that you knocked out. Every one of your opponents never even tried to hit you. And the minute I say is before I fight you, on my last interview, I say is, um, your opponents never tried to hit him back, but believe me, I'd be hitting you back. And when you so I did. I wasn't a bit fit, I never trained about six months that time. I never refused the boxer in my life to fight. I said, I'm not going to refuse you. Went in, knew what I had to do, going to knock you out, and I did it. No fluke, what I meant to do, that's what I wanted to do. And give over talking about me, I don't want to be bad mouthing you off. Don't talk about me no more, I barely want to fight me. That was simple as that, good luck. And then you were talking. You were talking about uh, you didn't train for the last one. How's training been over the last since oh, the since the fight? Put this way, the belly is gone. <laughs> I had a belly when I fought Jake Paul that time, but I bet him with the belly, mm. and the belly is gone now. And you've uh, done some good sparring. Uh, you're over in Ukraine sparring with Max Bursak ahead of his world title shot. How did that go? Yeah, um, I was out there for the week that time uh, sparring with uh, Grace sparring with him. Um, he, uh, he was unlucky in the fight afterwards, big by a better lad, but he's a good boxer. Uh, he's a European champion uh, and he was good experience, not a goal, and was home young. And then I was sparring with Kishu Ben Shun the last time I was over there and had a good spar with him. Him, the brother Paddy was sparring as well. Um, I was sparring Lee Gemma, um, another good on the field fighter. Um, I was sparring Max. Wicks. Mike Wicks, yeah. um, another good uh, fighter with a good record. Uh, we got good old sparring, great training uh, with Jay Morris. Um, everything went good and Paddy proved it on the day it paid off. Yeah, and then just going back to the Jake Ball fight, uh, why do you think uh, he is avoiding you again? And if you beat him again, is that kind of the end of his career uh, going forward? I don't know if it's going to be the end of his career, but the, the beating I gave him the last time when I wasn't fit. Imagine what I'd do if I was fit. I'd probably kill him. <laughs> and that's the trouble. Don't want to kill you, Jay. Keep away from me. I'm back training when, when I'm a bit well. I got those tablets as well, look. Well, well man sports. Yeah. So when I'm off the antibiotics, I'm going to try to get well again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you were saying, uh, going forward, you can fight at any weight between middleweight and light heavyweight. Yeah, I'm even at mid. He's a light heavyweight. Yeah. And he's about that much over me. Uh, he's a good four inches over me. He's six foot four, I think, six foot yeah. five. Um, yeah, I'm only, uh, I'm only boxing, uh, I was super middleweight bang on when I was over in England training. And that was even eating and training properly. But I reckon I'm middleweight, no problem. Yeah. But I even fight him, even just one pound over a super middleweight, I come in. At. And he'd be a light heavyweight. I won't even ask him for a catch weight. Just come down to light heavyweight again. If you want to fight me, I, I don't need to fight you. I'm not asking to fight you. Keep your name out of your mouth. Don't be saying you're bait ahead of me. You should be ashamed to say you're bait ahead of me. The bait they give you the last time. I destroyed you. Bet you over the ring. You come back under the ring. Bet you down to the ground in. Nearly killed you at one stage. I told Jared I said, Jesus Christ, look, I'm after the one. After coming around with six months not training. Comes back in, destroys, nearly kills Jake. I said, please, Jake. You're on the ground, Jake, for about seven minutes with an oxygen mask on you. You're putting your side, and 
I was saying to myself, I'm never going to box again because I thought I was, I was going to kill you. I remember I said before the fight, so best luck for Jody, two of us that the best man win, and hopefully the two of us will come out okay. When I'd like, we did come out okay. But Jake, don't vex me though. And then a, <laughs> a couple of things that Jake said was that uh, that he did, uh, you need him to box in big arenas and no, all sky. No, no, I don't need him at all. I had an injury after that, and I was delayed out of a bit of time. Um, Hopefully I'm fighting in two weeks time. If we don't get to fight in two weeks time, I guarantee they'll fight maybe in the next two weeks afterwards in some show. Uh, it's not even our own show, we're just going on other shows to box and keep them busy. I don't need you Jake, I'm already betcha. Um, I'll get another one or two good fights and I'll be fighting for some fair title anyway, I don't need you to fight. And you go your own way, whatever you want to go, I don't care. But if you want to fight me, shop about it and come out and fight. Simple and as. He said, big title as well. he said that he wants to fight for the English title next, but uh, a problem there is that the champion at the moment, the English champion, is uh, has a mandatory, and he has a fight coming up in September, so Jake can't really fight for that one. So uh, it's just kind of making up more excuses himself, uh, making up fights, really. Uh, yeah. So what do you think about that? I don't care why he says all the people. That's his own business of how other fights he wants have. That's he. If he doesn't want to fight, he doesn't want to fight. I don't have to fight him. I don't want to fight him. Yeah. Because well, once a fight, that's the way it's going to be. And then, if you were in Jake's position, uh, would you want to avenge a defeat? Uh, yeah. He has aspirations to fight for world titles. Would you want to, you know, go back and put a right there wrong kind of thing? Listen, I said I don't need him because everyone knows I don't need him because they're not know. Maybe if I fought McGinn, God only knows what can happen. You don't know until you go in the fight. But he needs me to fight anyway. Because if he wants to go over me, don't mind the lads he's fighting, they're journeymen. Lads that won't even try to beat him back or fight him back, only defend him. And a waste of time. Jake is looking brilliant doing it because that's how he's fighting again. But I looked, I made him look the same way. I destroyed him worse than what he did to any of his ones. Bet him over the ring like I was in WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan <Royal> Rumble. <laughs> Um, over the top rope and he got all rolled into the next one and I, that was it so. and then uh, going forward elsewhere from Jake Ball like you, uh, do you have any other kind of targets that you want to routes you want to go down um, a name you know, whatever comes my way if I even got a chance to fight for a world title I'd right, fight for it a, na a name that's been mentioned Anyone, Luke Keeler a middleweight fights me whoever wants to fight me and call out no one I'd be always there to fight yeah. Once I'm fit and healthy, I'd be on certified. Yeah. A name that your manager Kaz Evans mentioned was uh, Martin Murray uh, from Liverpool, uh, signed with Matchroom, uh, previously fought Golovkin. Yeah, uh, yeah. Good fighter. Yeah, Kaz very good fighter. Yeah. Very good experience fighter. Yeah. Um, I think I'd have a good chance of uh, beating him if I fought him. I'd be a bigger man than me if he was fighting the middle way, I'd be able to make middle way. Um, I think he's too small for a super middle way on you. Um, yeah, but I can't run it down. Very good boxer. Should good enough to win a world title. Mm -hmm. But good enough to do it. Um, should have done it with Felix Sarnata. But yeah, if that fight comes up, I'd be happy to take it. Yeah. And then, uh, do you want to make, maybe make a comment on Paddy's recent win against Steve Collins just two weeks ago? Yeah. Um, Paddy fought very good. Steve fought good for himself. Uh, Steve is a good, very unexperienced boxer. I think that's a show probably more experience than on the night. Mm -hmm. um, but very poor good fighting. You, you can't run enough for it. You could, that was a better learning fight for Steve than going in like a, a journeyman. Yeah. And he's only early for him in his career and he's a good record. Yeah. And then uh, how much are you looking forward to Paddy going on to bigger and better things than going forward? Yeah, we were talking about him fighting that Ukrainian lad ranked sixth in the world, didn't he? Yeah. Um, what's his name? Uh, I can't pronounce it. it starts with a G, Paddy, any? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's meant to be boxing him in, uh, in sometime in, in August. Yeah, in August. In, uh, if, if it happens, though, his deal is nearly done. But yeah, it's, August, it's on the undercard of uh, Terence Crawford against uh, Indongo in a four yeah. belt unification. Yeah. And Dylan White's on it as well, you know, Dylan, uh, Simon McMatter yeah, as well, yeah. yeah. As well, live on Sky as well, yeah. yeah. Um, so then, anything else you want to add? No, uh, everything is cool after that. Yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah.
So and I just it. wanted um, Paddy Bones to thank his trainer as well, Tom Norton, which we're out with him yesterday. Yeah, um, how's training going with him? We're out with him we took a few photographs and went out for a chat with him yeah. and he came up to support Paddy in the boxing and he's, I mean for him we wouldn't be here in this situation now, mm -hmm. um, still boxing away. Yeah. Um, and he's trained a lot of great boxers over the years and I want to thank him very much for him. Yeah.